rusting in the rain. These blast furnaces are emblematic of the slow industrial decline in France's northeastern Rust Belt. Deindustrialization was followed by populism. Ayange is one of 11 towns captured by the far right Front National Party in local elections two years ago. Dans ce secteur-là, nous avons beaucoup d'électeurs de gauche, mais également... Voters have been completely betrayed by a left which gives them the image of being close to the workers, close to the shopkeepers and small business owners. But it has completely betrayed them. And so, eventually, these voters are increasingly voting for the National Front. In the U.S., it was the Rust Belt voters that helped propel Donald Trump into the White House. Boosted by Trump's surprise victory, France's far-right leader, Marine Le Pen, who is already riding high in the polls, believes she now has a good chance of becoming France's next president. We are going to win, she tells reporters, as she opened her campaign headquarters. The mainstream parties have yet to declare their candidates. The centre-right Republican Party started the process of electing their presidential nominee this weekend. Immigration and terrorism concerns are already dominating the campaigns. After five years of socialist rule, France appears to be veering sharply to the right. For them, the left is not the right political partner to implement more security to better protect the country. So the deficit on the left, the collapse of the left, that's what leaves the field open for the right, which comes back on themes that are very natural for them, such as closing the borders, questioning immigration, and very strong security policies. The polls have consistently shown that Le Pen will make it to the final runoff in next May's presidential vote, but they predict it would be very difficult for her to win. But the pollsters do get it wrong. We saw it in the UK during the Brexit vote. We saw it during the US presidential election. And so if the Front National are able to mobilise enough blue-collar workers from towns like this, France may well find itself with a far-right president next year. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Ayange, in eastern France.